The nominee to the position of chair of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, Archbishop Eli Rubukala, today faced vetting by members of the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee. The former head of the Kenyan Anglican Church is facing opposition from the most unlikely of quarters. KTN News reporter Timothy Otieno now explains. The truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. The 65-year-old seeking to become the anti-graft body's sixth head stayed true to the character he's well known for. Vetting a man of the cloth would mean once in a while the members of the committee would quote a few verses from the Christian holy book. Apostle Paul said in uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse, I think, uh, 9, which he said, whatever you have had, whatever you have seen, Put it into action. In the Bible, and which I said that I was going to probably, when, when, when Rehoboam took over the reign of Israel those days, he was advised that uh, since the previous leaders were chastising the bad people with whips, he should chastise them with a scorpion. I think uh, the bishop, many of the members might not be very clear with this. But when it came time for the rubber to meet the road, the man of God was hard-pressed to elaborate on how different he would steer the country's main anti-graft organ for a commission riddled with controversy over the last 19 years of its existence. What is it that makes you think you are suitable for this appointment, that you'll be able to make a difference uh, and that you'll also be able to integrate the fight against corruption Allowing me into that office, I will bring in all the people who work there and I will promise that we shall come up with a plan which the nation will know. I don't know if you know who you are going to be fighting. You are going to be fighting these same members of parliament who are sitting here. You are going to be fighting the government, the executive. If you are found uh, taking people's money, you go to court, you are judged. That is government doing its divine responsibility. It should not prick uh, your, your conscience. But those who do well should be commended. So we shall balance. But perhaps Wabukala's greatest hurdle before assuming the office of the EACC boss would come from a petition dated 30th December 2016 by four individuals accusing the former head of the Anglican Church of going to bed with corrupt individuals, therefore making him lack the moral authority to fight graft. The petition filed on behalf of the Mashuja elderly heroes, the disabled in Kenya, and independent candidates states that, quote, the bishop is the same guy preaching water and drinking wine, baptizing, forgiving, marrying off, and also barring the cartels of these economic crimes without seizing the opportunity to condemn and take action as a bishop without borders, end quote. The group also accuses Wabukala of doing little to fight graft as chair of the Kenya National Anti-Corruption Campaign Steering Committee, which they say receives millions of shillings from the national government annually. Was it your responsibility to fight corruption? What is it that you were expected to do as a steering committee on anti-corruption? Uh, it's not true that it has a very huge budget. For all those 12 years, you could find it's a small budget which cannot even compare to what other people get. The most, uh, like the last one we had, was about 70 million. 70 million? 70. Your annual budget? Yes, annual budget. And, and you know, you, you, you people who know what campaign means, <laughs> if you have to campaign in the whole country with 70 million, then you, know, you see the challenge we had. But we did our best, despite the very small budget. The committee will be presenting a report for debate on the floor of the assembly come 17th January, where members will either give a nod or deny Wabukala a chance to serve as head of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.